today's video will be about some of the decisions some teams will have to make on their quarterbacks this coming season. Whether they are going to extend them, cut them, give them one more year, or some few other things I'll get to in a minute. Either way, before we get to this video, I just want to say, uh, please subscribe, hit that like button, it does a lot for my channel, it doesn't cost you a single thing. Uh, and let's get right into this video. So here is our tier list. We have extend, one more year cut, and redacted. Redacted is just going to be primarily rookie quarterbacks or guys who haven't played just because you can't really consider them. And if they're on contract, they're going to stay on contract. If they're not on contract, they're, yeah, you get the point. Either way, Sam Darnold, um, you know, considering he's a backup, he's hard to rank here. I'm going to put him in one more year just because when he's had to come in and play, he's been fine. He's been good, whatever. Um, but, you know, he, he if I believe he, I don't know what honestly his contract is right now. But there's no reason for them to get rid of him if they don't have, you know, cap reasons or anything. Aiden O'Connell's going to go in redacted. Anthony Richardson redacted. Stetson Bennett redacted. Bryce Young redacted. Because none of those guys, you're never going to cut a rookie like these guys. You're not going to cut them. And then one more year, I mean, yeah, I could just put them there. But, like, you, yeah, they're, they're going to go in one more year anyways. Either way, yeah, you get the point. Baker Mayfield, I think, honestly, the Bucks should extend him. I don't know who else they're going to get better than him, and I think he's played very well. I do like Baker a lot, and I think he, he's a good player overall. I think he is a starting quarterback in the NFL, uh, but yeah, he, he's an extend player to me. Hendon Hooker is redacted. Matthew Stafford, he's an extend player. He, You can't really put him in one more year considering how good he's been this year, and the roster talent he has around him is not good. The Rams roster is just not, their line isn't that great. Their receiver, other than other than Cup and uh, Puka Nakua, they're not very good. They just aren't. And the defense isn't very good either, but they've played well. They've won games and they secured a playoff spot. So, I mean, Stafford led them that far. Kyle Trask, you could probably cut him at this point just because he's been so long, but whatever. Mac Jones, I think he's a cut candidate. Uh, probably a trade or something, but he, I mean, he is consistently replaced by Bailey Zappi. He's not sticking around. Kyler, he's an extend guy. I think Kyler is a good player. Maybe the Cardinals don't extend him. Maybe they trade him somewhere else, but... He still gets extended either way. Ryan Tannehill is certainly a cut guy. He's just he's just done. He's been done for two or three years, and the injuries hadn't caught up to him yet. But now that the injuries have caught up to him, he's gone. He ain't he ain't nothing to worry about. Trevor, you know this is tough because I'm not gonna put him here yet. But in the one more year, I mean Trevor's only had one good season, which was last year. This year he's been okay, a little bit iffy at best. Um, but do you want to wait to extend him? I, I wouldn't blame you if you did. Uh, but at the same time, I don't think you're going to find anybody better, so I will put him in extension. Lamar is an extend guy. Goff, I think, is an extend guy. Jalen Hurts is an extend guy. I mean, even if they've just gotten extensions like Jalen Hurts, the extend category just means they're not going anywhere, period. Davis Mills, you know, shockingly enough, he's kind of the Darnold situation to me. I don't really think he got a fair shake as the Texans quarterback. Not to say that CJ Stroud should be not playing over him. He should be, 100%. But... He's a good backup, and I think he can be that much. I mean, give him a year, you know, there's no reason to get rid of him unless you just have to. But, yeah, I mean, if you had to get rid of him, it wouldn't be for his sake. Tua's an extend guy. I'm not a huge Tua guy. I don't think he's amazing, but he's still not a re There's no reason to get rid of him, for sure. Mahomes, he's probably a cut guy. Come on now. Uh, now, Teddy Bridgewater, he's going in redacted because I, if I am not mistaken, he said he was going to retire at the end of this year, so I'm just going to leave him off. Daniel Jones. You are forced into one more year with him. Should he be one more year? Probably not at all, actually. I mean, he's not been good, and he, oh, he was so good last year. He had 15 passing touchdowns. He's he's not a good quarterback. He's just not. But you paid him $40 million a year, and you can't get out of that contract just yet. After next year, there is an out in that contract, but yeah, you can't do that. Um, Zach Wilson is probably a one more year guy. I don't think he's been bad enough to cut. And, you know, he's had flashes, and he could still be Roger's successor in New York. I still think it's possible. It's just, will we see that happen? I don't know. Justin Fields, personally, I think is a cut guy. I don't think he's done anything good. Oh, he hasn't had any help. He hasn't done this. Maybe one more year elsewhere, but, like, sure, give him one more year, and then you're going to cut him because he's not a good quarterback. He's, he's never going to be a good quarterback, in my opinion. Um, I'll leave him in there, but, yeah, I, I don't think the Bears are going to stick with him. I think they go get Caleb Williams and try to get the best quarterback they've ever had in their franchise history. Jacoby Brissett, he's a backup, but he's a one-more-year guy. He just, I mean, he'll get signed somewhere for a one-year, two-year deal, and that's just what it is. Jameis Winston, 
kind of the same thing as all these backup guys, Darnold and Davis Mills and whatever. Like, when he plays, he's decent, and you can't argue with that. But, like, you know, it is what it is. Taylor Heineke is also a backup. Huntley, I mean, these guys, you just can't get rid of them. I, I probably should have another tier for just backups that, like, just they're backups. But, yeah, Tyrod Taylor is the same. Deshaun Watson, personally, I like Deshaun Watson football-wise. I think he's very talented. Um, I think he can be very – he can be a good quarterback still. I mean, the last time he played a full season under all the, you know, training camp and all that kind of stuff, he was a top-five quarterback in the league, and I'm pretty sure he led the league in passing, if not was very, very close to it. He could be a very good player. He certainly could be. He's just got to get there. And, like, I mean, taking two years off of playing football should probably hurt you quite a bit. So that's where I attribute that, but, you know, it is what it is. Geno Smith, he's a one-more-year guy to me. I mean, he's already 31. I don't think he's very good. He he had a good year last year, and but there's a reason why he was a backup for 10 years. So, yeah, he, he's had a good run, but it's already about over. Trey Lance, at this point, can honestly be a cut guy. He's just hasn't done anything and had a lot of chances to do so um who is this case keenum he he's a one more and back up I'm, I'm gonna make a new tier right now i'm gonna make a whole new tier in the middle of the video titled backup because there's too many of these guys infiltrating this list back up right here and then we've got let's drop some of these guys down in here uh all these basically like this whole entire tier heineke my bad didn't mean to do that to you blood uh there we go uh yeah that's backup tier that way, they're just, I mean, they're kind of like redacted. It's another version of that, but like they're going to be on a roster somewhere, somehow, some way, but they're just, yeah. Jordan Love is certainly one more year. Uh, he, he's he been good, but not great. So let him do what he can, get another offseason behind him, and get a second year to really prove himself with, you know, some better options receiving-wise. Christian Watson's been hurt all year. Jaden Reed has had a really good rookie year. He's had like 10 touchdowns right now. Uh, you know, uh, Romeo Dobbs is solid. Tucker Craft and Luke Musgrave have been two solid tight ends as rookies, but mosgrave has been hurt, so not a whole lot for him to work with at this point. Let's see what he can do in another year. Next, we've got Malik Willis, and I was a Malik Willis truther coming out of the 2020, uh, what, two draft or whatever it was. I thought he'd be better than Kenny. I did. And you know what? What I did say about that was he could not play that first year. There's guys like him that are too raw, and they will be just so, so messed up if you play them in the first year because they are not ready for it. And you're going to give them bad habits, bad traits. They're not going to know what to do. They're going to be frantic and panicking. And, you know, I still think he is going to be on the roster, for, uh, some roster for a while. I think he has talent still. I think it's going to be untapped his whole career. and He's never going to get to do it. Situation is also a big factor. I don't think Tennessee was the right place for him. Either way, uh, one more year, but he'll probably be on, you know, a backup roster for a while. Joe Burrow is an extend guy. Come on now. Mariota. He's a backup, whatever. Carson Wentz, he's not signed, but he is a backup in my opinion. I don't know. Well, I think he's on the Rams, maybe. I don't know how he isn't if he is not on the Rams. Justin Herbert's an extend guy, no doubt. Cooper Rush, he's a backup. Drew Locke is a backup. Mitch Trubisky is a cut candidate, 100%. Mitch Trubisky in his stretch of games for Pittsburgh this year has proven more about Kenny and Mason than he has Mitch, and he's proven that they're fine. They're solid players. Mitch is awful. I mean, he's... He can't take care of the ball, and I don't know how. I don't know how. It's it's incredible. We get Mason Rudolph coming here after not playing in three years and throwing, you know, really good balls and, like, just making plays and keeping the game alive, throwing it at people's feet when you can't have an open receiver. The things you're supposed to do as a quarterback, and especially as a backup quarterback, and Mitch is just hucking it to the other team, whatever. Um, what? Wow, Matt Corral, he's kind of redacted at this point. I, I don't even know if, yeah, he, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Uh, wow, Kenny Pickett is a one-more-year guy. He's had um, no chances, in my opinion. And Steelers fans are all up in arms about Mason Rudolph being the future right now. In the one game Kenny's played in the same scenario as Mason, and my, the point of that being not with Matt Canada and in the same system, essentially, they've all been good. Every game with Mason or Kenny outside of the Canada era has been good. He only played the one game against the Bengals, and he was great. And uh, he deserves another chance. And if Mason continues to be hot, which Mason, I will say, he's a one-more-year candidate as well. He's not on this list, but he will be in the one-more-year candidate. That if, if, they, if he finishes the season hot and Kenny doesn't play another snap, you go into next offseason and you have a quarterback battle between Mason and Kenny. There you go. Uh, Colt McCoy, he is a backup, and you know he's made a career out of being a backup. Congrats to him. Mike White. Probably a backup guy. He'll probably be around for a while, but just not really do much. Dak Prescott is an extend player. Bailey Zappi is really tough. 
I almost say backup, but I'm gonna put him in one more year because like maybe with a little bit more development and some training camp reps, he could maybe be something. I mean, he's played well in the few games he played, not so much this past week versus Buffalo, but he came back a little bit towards the end of the game. Either way, Brock Purdy, he's an extend guy. He's overrated. Uh, you know, you can be overrated and good is the thing. He's good, but he's overrated. But yeah, he he's extendable. Josh Allen is certainly extendable. Kirk Cousins. That's a tough one simply because will the Vikings extend him? I don't know. With the Achilles injury, it's pretty dangerous. I'm going to go ahead and say one more year because you're kind of in a spot with him where coming back from an Achilles injury at, what, 36 years old, you can't necessarily expect him to be as good as he was, 34 years old, whatever he is. Um, but where is he going to be? How bad is he going to be? How good is he going to be? And so we'll give him one more year to play that out, and then he'll kind of earn his contract from there. Same thing with Aaron Rodgers. He's on a one more year thing. At the same time, he's Aaron Rodgers. You could probably extend him, but either way, you get the point. Sam Howell, I thoroughly believe they need to go one more year with him. They have no help. I mean, they have a really good receiving core, don't get me wrong, but the O line is terrible. The defense can't, that they, they can't even help the offense at all. Like, it's, it's bad. So, Sam Howell's been good when he's had actual chances, legitimate shots and chances, but it's just few and far between for him. Russell Wilson. I don't know how they are cutting him. I don't understand at all. I just, I don't comprehend it. Um, I, part of me will say extend because I think another team's going to pick him up on a two, three year deal because he's played well this year and they just don't want him because of the money, I guess. I'll give him one more year because I guess in reality, if he goes to, let's say Atlanta and bottoms out, well, he'll be off, yeah, he'll be out of the NFL. But at the same time, I, I just don't understand. Desmond Ritter, he's a cut guy. He. I mean, maybe a backup guy, maybe a long-term backup. That's that's at best. I'll leave him there, but, you know, whatever. Derek Carr needs one more year. Get him settled into the Saints system a little bit more. I mean, he's kind of caught up to himself a little bit in the last few weeks, but not been good overall. Jimmy Garoppolo, he's a backup guy. He just is. Will Levis, redacted. Gardner Minshew, I mean, honestly, he's a backup guy. It just is what it is for him. Uh, you could give him one more year. You could say that, but he, he's a backup. Stidham, he's a backup for his career. C.J. Stroud, He's redacted. Okay, oh, he's been so good. You could already extend him. There have been plenty of players who've had good rookie years and then fallen out of the league by the time they get their next contract. I mean, it happens. And I'm not saying Stroud will do that, but you don't know. And Andy Dalton is also a backup. One more quarterback I wanted to throw in here that wasn't on this tier list. Joe Flacco. Backup. He There's a reason why he wasn't on a roster for most of the season. Oh, how do we not have this guy on our roster weeks ago? How did Mason Rudolph not play from week one if he's been the best quarterback? It's because people get hot hands. It, it's simply that. It, it doesn't always have to be that's the best quarterback on your roster. Somebody can play well for a little stretch. If you expect Joe Flacco to continue what he's doing now through the, the through the playoffs, you're insane. He may, And if he does do it, that's awesome. But expecting that is crazy. He, there's a reason. Like I said, he played bad on the Jets. There's a reason he was off contract this year until they had their fifth quarterback die. So it is what it is. Joe Flacco is not bad. But he is a backup, one way or another. Um, that's about it. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Doing a jersey giveaway at 1,000 subs. So either way, see you all next time.